Hi, Trini. I am with a rail and I'm with us, Susanna. So guess Hello. what we're doing? Are we doing something oh. with alterations? We are. We're doing finding inspiration in your own closet and thinking of those things you keep passing by because you think, oh, that's too small, don't like that colour, blah, blah. How can we take those pieces and love them again? I'm going to start with the vampire's wife dress that shrunk at the dry cleaner. I was going to wear it to New York. It doesn't fit how it mm -hmm. should fit as a dress. Yes. What is the solution? The solution is to take a little bit of fabric from the frame yep. and then just add a little panel here okay. and a little panel going down. Now let's say, yes, Susanna, I love the length of this. Any shorter and it would be that dodgy length where I feel it's not most, most flattering. So how can you take from the frill but not shorten the length of the dress? Can we make the frill a tiny bit less frilly to get the fabric to then put here? That's the thing. Yeah. If you don't want it at full, it's taking fullness, yeah. uh, taking the frill out yeah. and take a little bit of proportion on each side and let, make it less and then we can use whatever we have left for the Because for the we, we need just, I mean, it's yes. like also, I think when you're looking at where you're going to let out a dress, if your ribs begin to show like another bit, you should let it out from that point. So for me, here is fine. Tits are good, but here to yes, yes, here. Yes, a little bit on the, from the, yeah, from the waist to the hips. Yeah. So we're going to do that, take away not too much of the frill, yeah. still keep the structure of the dress, yes. the length yes. of the dress, but somehow get some yeah, fill, yeah. Yeah, space. Next. Trini, what is wrong with this? It's such small tweaks, Jemima. I keep putting this on and taking it off. And there's one thing that I feel, if this wasn't sequenced and it was a normal top, the sleeve going like this, I think is aging. There's a couple of things here. I could just put shoulder pads in. Yes. And that would help with that structure. We talk a bit about the straightness of a shoulder. Our posture starts off, you know, we're like this. And, and as we go down the path of life, unless we've been an ex-ballet dancer or we're really strict about our posture, we can just be a bit like this and things slightly crumple and our clothes don't look so good. Having clothes have structure that gives your body a better posture and a sort of coat hanger feeling for clothes to hang off is much more flattering. Okay, when you first said about changing the sleeve, I thought you would just chop the whole sleeve off and have it no, sleeveless. No, I wouldn't because I wouldn't want this to be sleeveless. Okay. All right, because I feel that it's um, a jumpsuit, there's a lot of fabric here, and then I begin to look more pear shaped. Okay. I would want to have more fabric coming out here okay. over like yeah. at the roof to my hip. So a raglan sleeve is a sleeve where the seam is down here, but, uh, but it always feels drooped to me. So what I want to do is I want to use the basis of quite a big shoulder pad, which is going to not go down, but go quite far out. And then I want to put the fabric inside this to be cut open more here. You know, when you have a pleat and a pleat like that, so I want to do more of that yes, pleat. Shall we be? Let's pin and see. So cutting that open so that you get that sort of sexiness under. Yeah. It's having that lovely V that you always yeah. like. You yeah, see exactly. That. It's not for everyone, because if you have big boobs, that deep V here doesn't work. But the deep V for me is the way I do my cleavage, because I don't like to show too much skin here. Get an idea more or less, but we have to end up being there. almost there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You'd see that pleating in this so yeah. that it would, you know what I mean? It would just come out like that. Yeah. And where's this from originally? Charlie? This is Alice Templey, and I got both of them, the Bista Alice Templey shop, which I'm so Sorry. gutted it doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Almost that look. Too. Almost that, yes, there. So therefore yeah. you've got hip and shoulder has come out further. You've got the gentle soft pleat, and I could wear it with a deep V, or I could have it, I'd probably wear it like that. That's so much okay. cooler. And that just, it just feels yes. more very nice. So excited about how I'm going to wear it. And I got one another colour, we're going to do it too as well. Wow. Okay. Okay, so I love these cost trousers, as Susanna, all right? But when you do a crop, and these came this cropped, it has to be exactly the right length. Because when I sit and I sort of like do this, it's too high. And you notice it when you cross your legs, and don't you? And when I cross my legs, I notice it and I think, and I always used to look at these trousers and think to myself, I took them up too much, but I realized I didn't take them up. They came like this in cost and they came for somebody who's slightly shorter mm -hmm. as an ankle crop. So I just, it's the tiniest bit, but it makes such a difference that if, yeah. when I cross my legs, they're there. And you might think, my God, how anal is Trini. But, so if I have this and you just look at the side, they're just a little bit too short. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to get them to be ankly, so they're like that. And, and it's these small little details that take you from 
thinking, somebody thinking, mm, I don't know if I like ankle trousers, because that just makes her legs look short to that half an inch, which makes it look better. So where would yeah, you get the material from? from? No, the, the thing is, darling, I bought like this, and there's material at the end. Oh. I'm just going to take them down by half an inch. That's oh, why this perfect. is all made. <laughs> yeah, so but we it, have plenty of fabric. We have plenty of fabric, but it is that when you're looking at trousers, and we're going to also now look at a really old-fashioned pair of trousers that are too long, and look at how can we make old-fashioned mm. trousers feel right. So if you've got, you know, Capri pants, you'll never be able to get them long enough. And I think Capri pants can weirdly be aging now because I feel they were something so 90s and noughties, you know, that, that length on the summer beach holiday, great. But I think as a, as a walking in town moment, it doesn't work so well. So we'll look at another pair which are too long and how much we take them off. Kind of stretch these trousers on, they're very old. They're such old Saint Laurent trousers that the label is the old way of saying Saint Laurent. So wow. it might be nice from here because it gives me a very long leg, but it's sort of, I don't know if I can wear a heel with it where you'd, I don't break the trouser leg. So if I, I'd probably wear a platform and I think what prevents me from wearing these is I always feel that the trouser is not wide enough. They look like they've been taken down before. Yeah, so they sit like that. Oh, such a down. great shape. I just think they're a bit too tight. Uh, a bit too tight, but uh, did you, do you have pockets on these trousers? No, I don't. Yeah, because, ah, yeah. Yes. And I think that we've never seen them before. Is just to put a little panel here on the sides, on the same tone as the black. It will be the solution, because at the moment they are too tight on the hips. So you need at least, at least two centimeters each side, and it will be like a design. I would say they're too tight here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because that's the thing. I don't mind this at all, but maybe we just need to go straighter here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so maybe so that's what it yes. is. Yeah, it's a good idea to have a little panel. You have this panel here, it's good to have another one just down there. Then you will get what you want. So you yeah. might just think it's a pair of bloody black trousers, but this is how obsessive and honed in we can get to what's the merit of what you do with this. But it is difficult to know how you should change something, yeah. isn't it? It's not only changing. I mean, I could either say I just wear them on days where I haven't had breakfast properly and I'm not bloated. You're not going to be sitting, like, you'll be standing. Yeah. Do you feel like you need to wear them to see if you do actually want to change anything about them? I, I do feel they are a bit tight here. I think, as I, can see I that feel thing, that, that you could work on them here, but I like this fit. When I take the dark, give me just a little bit on the side, I just pretend it up just Okay, because I think so. if anywhere it doesn't fit, it's here. Yeah. Okay, yes. so if you can get some room here, because it's going up my ass, and I'm not wearing them anyway, so I think just to, let's have a play and see what you can do. If this was a Zara trouser, we wouldn't be having a 20 minute conversation about where the dark should be, but it's a pair that I spent a lot of money on 18 years ago. And the fabric is beautiful, it's a wool gabardine, so let's not put it to waste. You know, wow. Saint Laurent changed the way they've written their label three times in my lifetime. There was when Eve was still designing, there was just after Eve was designing, and then there was when Hedy Slimane started designing. Wow. So again, what's amazing about this is the height of that waistline, and it's just beautiful. And I wouldn't want to make it lower, because I was thinking what we could do is just cut the waistline and have it a lower skirt. Mm -hmm. But that would take away the specialness of that. Yes, of course, yes. yes so yes. it is too long for me, and I think we can take it from the bottom. Okay. Yeah? Because I do wear it with this coat, which is also a bit long for me, so you have two different things to take from. This is old TSC cashmere from, this is one of the old things in my wardrobe, apart from my mother's stuff. I think I've had this about 20, like when Susanna and I started to do the Telegraph column, um, in 96. Quite soon after, they sent me this to shoot and I never sent it back. <laughs> that's the, that's where this came from. What? And it's such an unusual outfit because the idea of a long wool, it's actually cashmere, a long cashmere skirt with this. It's just a really cool look. And if I took, I don't wear them because they're full length and there's something that feels a little bit costume of it being yes, full length. I so I think that I do need to take the length up anyway of both of them. Of oh, both of them? Yeah. yeah. Are they both from the same place? This is TMC Cashmere. It's, um, a, it's, a, it's a suit. Wow. Cute. Molly, you really irritate me because I think I don't wear it <laughs> because it skims. But I thought you wore the coat. I've worn the coat occasionally, but I have to wear a little bit of a heel or it gets mm. dirty. And also, the other thing about this coat, which I've never done, is that this is too high. Yeah, too so I think yeah. you could take this down a tiny bit. I wore this pregnant with Lila, actually. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just think it looks so expensive when it's to the floor. Yeah. I should think it was so expensive. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean? most of the time, we're like wishing it was longer. Yeah, you're right. And it's, it's so true that, so maybe I shouldn't do that. But even if you had the skirt shorter, you'd still 
still get the length from the coat. Yeah, yeah. I think the skirt is a little bit longer than the coat, so it could go to the same length as the coat. Yeah. Because you would trip yeah. maybe on that. Yeah. Okay, so you think... Just the skirt think, to yeah, match the size. Really, but you don't think I should take the coat up like an inch? Well, it is a tiny bit damaged, tiny so bit, maybe, yeah. yeah. So I think take an inch off the coat. Okay. And, and two inches and off the take skirt. Two inches off the skirt. When? It would be really nice that I could have this as an outfit I wear. Yeah, when did is, you last wear it? I haven't worn it since um, I had Lila. Wow. I've worn it for 18 years. I've worn the coat by itself. Yeah. I haven't worn that since before I had Lila. Are they pockets there? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so two inches, really, yes? I think, yeah. Yeah, let's see. But as you can see, with the waistband, I can't even do it on. I love you've put it with the yellow. Yeah, colour wheel from last week. <laughs> Coming into play, we did have purple last week, but burgundy is kind of next door. Is the most aging way for any person to wear a t-shirt, right? Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work. The skirt is very see-through and I want to wear this together, so I have to think about how we do that. I already got upset with it and I cut at the bottom. Oh, okay. Um, so I kind of thought, can we do something with that? I didn't like this shape here. When I tuck it in, because the skirt's really nice and I want to wear it together, you see it. So I could wear magic knickers that will stop that, but it sort of bugs me. Now I could then just put it all the way down and I could turn it into a body. You know, that's the other thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. And just to have that pull on it so it feels Blame. really fitted and make it a body so you feel through the fabric, you get the sense of a body. Put the lining yeah. on the skirt. Yeah, but then it can make the skirt too thick and I wouldn't um, like that yeah so this is like probably why nobody bought it and why it was in the sale so why did few... you buy it Trini because I liked the joy of it and when I put it on I sort of did that you know yeah. in the in the mirror and I I think I had a shoulder pad top with me and I had it underneath and I thought I'll do what we do of that tucking over and make it like a shoulder pad top with a shoulder pad in, you know, like we do with yes, things, yes. and then have it like that. Could you just cut the T-shirt? Would you ever wear the T-shirt without the skirt? Like cut it to this length? Or just a little bit longer? Um, and just wear it loose. I mean, just wear it sort of... Well, no, you can still tuck it in, but then it won't poke past the waistband. Yeah, so but I could have it there. so it's not tucked in. Yeah. And just have it so it's like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so it hits the waistband and it's just short. So I could have it that it's that. I think it's better short than... Just this. short. Yeah, so I, yeah, I, yeah. actually we cut yeah. it so that it sits right to there. But yeah. You don't really want it boxy. If it's a bit boxy, as this is quite a high waistband, yeah. it shows off my waist. So I think if we hit it in the right place and it's like that and it's boxy, mm. I don't know, I think... I think it's better really because it's less I think if it was well. down here and boxy, that's yeah. really unflattering. Yeah. It needs to nearly be showing my tummy. Yes. Like kind of that. Yeah. What do we think? Yeah. Yes. And I yeah. think this sleeve looks really nice like that. Like tree. that. Okay. Yes. With the shoulder Even pad. Even though in. we can put it at shoulder pad. Okay. So let's take it then to exactly hitting. But do we all agree on this? I mean, you're going to put your comments in now, and we'll have done it. But this is our thought process. No, I think it's really good idea too because you don't have complication with lining on the skin, yeah. with the bulkiness on the on the yeah. hips. Mm. Yeah. Some women would probably be quite nervous to crop it. To have it. something that's. Uh, yeah. It's showing yeah. their tummy yeah. easily. Yeah. 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 But I suppose you could wear it with a lot of high waisted yeah. jeans. Because then also I could even. I don't think it will show your tummy too much. You know what? Then I would also do is I would take this in a tiny bit. Yeah, we have two. So on this, yeah. this yeah. is a little bit higher. Yeah. You know, like that. Yeah. Without changing the length. Without yeah. changing the length. So it's going to. It's going to look like that, kind of. Cool. Yes, yeah. Cool. Very nice. So shoulder pads, let's have a conversation about shoulder pads because you know I'm obsessed. So my best shoulder pad top is this one because nothing shows through it because everything is that colour. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we either get a shoulder pad and inside here, this is probably a... No, the second thing, I'm sorry, is just to use the same fabric inside. No, because it's that... Like a fake, but, no, 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 but no, that... No, no, on the, on the, on this one. We have to use it because that's why you don't see the shoulder pad. It's not because of the shoulder pad. It's because we use the same fabric inside. The okay. same fabric. But that would then look like this. Not any. No. We don't need to cut anything here. We use just the fabric inside. Inside there. And then we put the shoulder pads through. And then we won't see the yeah, shoulder yeah, yeah, pad. Yeah, we yeah, won't see yeah, the yeah. white. Yeah. Okay. Let's trust our Susanna on this one and see what it looks like. This is a tricky one, Susanna, because the dress has changed colour. So if you look at how creamy it is, but this is how it used to be. Yeah, when I yeah. bought it. So yeah. it was ecru, which is just a bit better on me mm -hmm. than the cream it's become. Okay. But the contrast, so Lucy, who was watching my Saturday closet uh, uh, chats, <laughs> was like, Trini, you can't diet, it's so beautiful and chic. But 
in real life, you're seeing this in real life, it's not my best shade. No, I agree, but I also agree it's a beautiful dress. It's like, you know when you're not wearing something? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing it because it's cream. I don't know what we can do. I think, uh, yes, we can change this palette for another color. But then you're remaking a whole dress. No. Could you dye yes. it? Uh, I can try to dye it, Jenny. But I mean, that doesn't fill me with confidence, I suppose. No, <laughs> okay, the way you say that. So I... this, is, this is silk and wool. Uh, to be honest, I think it's going to be difficult uh, now you that think... you say that it's wool and, and I think, silk. Do you think it's wool and silk? So I feel it. Do you think it's wool and silk or just gabardine? Maybe it's just wool gabardine. No, I don't think it's silk. Thing. Okay. One well, solution is to take it to a specialist that I will find out where they can dye properly. That's the answer. Would you want to dye it back to the white or a different colour? No, to the white. no, no. It would have to be that you would choose another colour, and you know me and black. So black goes with yeah. white, and black goes with navy, mm. and black goes with charcoal grey. So it changes the fundamentals of a dress if I make this charcoal grey and black. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe it's one to go then. So then it's one to sell. This is a Giambi Stavale dress that I've never worn as is. So I've worn it with trousers underneath and I've always felt that the colour, especially when my hair wasn't so blonde, you, when you wear something the colour of your hair, it's not always a good idea. You mm -hmm. know, as a blonde, you wouldn't wear that kind of wheat colour. And you wear black with dark brown hair, but then Molly loves black and yet works on closet confessions. <laughs> um, so for me, as Susanna, when I looked at this, I felt that you know, beige goes really well with red, but they're two colours I don't like together. I mean, I don't like. But also with neon. So I could just say, put on a neon necklace, and that's enough. Yeah. And maybe that is enough, because I keep the fundamentals of it. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the slit, so then all I want you to do is sew off that slit. Yeah, I it's think that so. Simple. I think it's because just... I just don't, I hate that slit. Yeah. And it stopped yeah. me, that little slit has stopped it makes me from wearing it. Weird what? to have a slit, like, directly yeah. in the middle, I know, <laughs> because I think probably the slit was here and I got them to sew it down. Uh, I don't know. Don't you no. remember? Yes, I sewing remember. It down. Yes, didn't she yes. did. She sewed it down <laughs> ten years ago. <laughs> and now she's going to sew it's it all the way down. And then I just wear the collar, because this is what lots of you say to me, Trini, why don't you just wear your H&M Jewelry with it because they remember my jewelry better than I do. They Very know. good idea. Take so another advice. This is um, something some of you might have seen on my stories. It's a dress I got from H and M, Gian Bistavale, that last designer. But this one was H and M, and I never wear it. And I never wear it because it's this V, which is a weird V for me. I'm either good in a really deep V or no V. Mm -hmm. So I was playing with it during things and just thinking if that was up there literally how much pretty it would be. Oh, now yeah. I could do a safety pin, but yes. you could just do a kind of little, yeah, like a pop you know, just do a proper little poppers yeah. and just yeah. make it yeah. fall nicely so yes. that doesn't go yeah. open. Yeah, yes, that's simple. Would you change the waistband as well? What do you think I should bring it down? Bring it down, but also colour, maybe like a neon yellow. Oh, that would be a good idea. Because you don't love black with. And also we can... And also it's a tiny high. bit. It's a tiny bit high. So let's just get some ideas. <laughs> okay, so let's just get a sense of thickness and what we should do. So if it was that and it was kind of there, like that, or is that too thick? Too thick. It's too thick. But if it went down to there and yes. started... You see, the only problem is we can't go lower than this because that's where the that's where the waistband is. So we can't make the waistband lower unless we... That's done yeah. so much work. The stress was like... 60 quid. I don't want yeah, to spend, yeah. you know, 80 quid with you to do it. Yeah, you see yeah. what I mean? Proportionally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think of what I spent on an outfit. So we'd have to start it here, which is why we could make it like do uh, an like, an inch like inch inch just inch there. Inch. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then yeah. you get the bottom of that pleat. So what I had liked about how I did it uh, yeah. is you missed that, that pleat. pleat. Mm. But you could just and roll the pleat up if not. So maybe belt. you just wear it with that belt. You know, I just think it, it's sort of like it, I put a buckle on a dress. It would be really nice if you could find yes. this kind of shade. Yes. Yes. Because I think that's a lovely colour to yeah. wear with it. Okay. I mean, I know that you want to see all the results now, but we have to wait till next week. <laughs> but I want you to just think about what you might have in your wardrobe that you can change. So do you have trousers that feel old-fashioned? Could you take up the hem? Could you take the hem longer, like we've shown twice? Do you have tops that are beautiful, but the sleeve doesn't work for you now? How you view your body shape? Is the waist of some dresses too high for you and how can you bring it down? These are all things I want you to think about when you go in and look at the element of clothes you don't wear and why you don't wear them and how you can make new friends out of old friends. Thank See you next you. week. Bye. <laughs> Bye.